Are you a Christian who's struggling with thinking negatively about someone? And I'm not talking about the occasional criticism. I'm talking about this constant dislike. And as much as you want to, you just can't stop thinking negative about this person. You've tried finding the good. You've tried reminding yourself that God loves them, so you should too. But the first and perhaps only thing that pops into your head about this person is negative. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to stop the negative thoughts about someone. Hey, my friend, in case we haven't met yet, my name is Chris Reese, and if you are looking for biblical solutions to life's tough challenges, go ahead and click that subscribe and notification button. I remember years ago when I worked with this guy who was uh, very charismatic on the outside, and he seemed like such a nice and friendly guy, but since we worked together so much, I was able to see the cracks in that mask that he was able to somehow hide to others. I saw the phoniness. I experienced the lies. I witnessed firsthand how this person would manipulate others with his woe is me attitude. And when in reality, this guy had no interest in anyone but himself. And after years of negative impact, I found myself having nothing but negative thoughts about him. Even his laugh would make me cringe. His phony smile to my face and his blatant disregard behind my back made me want to launch into a full verbal assault. And anytime anyone spoke positively about him, my thoughts would spiral. It got so bad that I remember saying to myself, I'm a Christian. I'm not supposed to be thinking this way. And maybe you're like me and you're having these negative feelings about someone who's hurt you, harmed you, or just flat out annoys you. And you won't act on these feelings intentionally, but you think on them in your mind. You run conversations over and over again repeatedly, and you think about all the ways that they have wronged you. You get infuriated at the thought of others being fooled by them. You replay what you shoulda, coulda, and woulda said if you weren't such a good Christian. But scripture tells us that if it's taking place on our mind, it's as good as done. Ouch. So it's not enough to not take action. We're called to take control of the thoughts. And with good reason, because everything begins in the mind. If we contemplate or ruminate on something long enough, it's only a matter of time before that internal attitude gets displayed externally. And this may be done intentionally because you have become so infuriated in your mind that you can't take it anymore, or it just slips out in a covert, passive-aggressive manner. Either way, your thoughts will run your life. And I know that you are a person of purpose. There is nothing, though, that the enemy likes more than to use your thoughts and other people to distract you from your destiny. So how do I stop thinking toxic thoughts about this person? Let's apply three principles to stop that spiral. Number one, we're going to be honest. We're going to do an honest evaluation. Most people want to be seen as good people who see the good in others. So when your mind is bombarded with negative thoughts about someone, we quickly try to dismiss it and find the good. And when we fail to do that well, we are left feeling like bad people. That's because the notion of simply finding the good can be foolish and ignorant. If a thief was trying to break into your house, would you tell yourself, oh gosh, I got to find the good in him. Instead of simply trying to ignore or whitewash our toxic thoughts, let's do an honest evaluation. Matthew 10, 16 reminds us of what Jesus said to us. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. You'll want to do an honest evaluation of what you're dealing with and how you want to handle it. Telling yourself to stop thinking negative about an abusive, annoying, or otherwise toxic person is like sticking your head in the sand and hoping they're going to change. You would also do well to be honest about your evaluation about how you feel and what you want the relationship to look like. You see, we often ruminate over negative thoughts because we feel helpless, like there's nothing we can do about it. But that simply isn't true. And there's typically always something you can do, even if it's simply putting up better boundaries. Simply ignoring the reality and pretending to think good about this person will likely only perpetuate the evil that could be taking place in the first place. Principle number two, find your triggers. What if I told you that the people that God is allowing in your life are less about them and more about you? 
You see, God uses people to refine us. Have you ever noticed that there are people who bring out the best in us and there are others who trigger the worst? Perhaps you have a friend who triggers your insecurities with her passive-aggressive backhanded compliments. Or perhaps when someone cuts you off in conversation, you feel the rush of rejection from your past all over again. Many interactions can trigger old wounds that likely go much deeper than the behaviors that are being displayed by this toxic person. And God uses those people to reveal what's in us. And if you will allow God to show you where your weaknesses lie, then you can begin to shift the focus away from others and onto your transformation. Besides, Matthew 7, 5 does remind us to take the log out of our own eye instead of focusing on the speck in someone else's. Let God do a work in you, my friend, and leave it to God to do the work in them. And number three, change the channel. When watching TV, are you the type who tortures themselves by watching a TV show that you hate? It's doubtful. We live in a time where there are more channels to choose from than ever before. And if you're like most, you will change the channel and keep on changing it until you find something you enjoy. Well, the same thing is true in our minds. Ask yourself, is this really a conversation that I want to hold in my mind every day? Do you really want to think about this person? at all? The good news is that you can decide what you want to think. No, just telling yourself to stop thinking a certain way isn't going to work. That's like thinking you can stop an oncoming train with your thoughts. Instead of trying to turn off the television that's playing in your head, simply change the channel. Think about something else. Think about something more life-giving, more freeing, more enjoyable. And in doing so, watch how your outlook and your mannerisms shift as well. And if this person is as toxic as you believe they are, are they really worth giving that much mental energy to? My friend, it is possible to get your peace back. God gave us the ability to control the thoughts that permeate our minds. In fact, Philippians 4.8 gives us this mandate to think on these things. And it says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. My friend, if none of these qualities exist in the person that you're struggling with, then there's nothing to think about. Honestly evaluate the relationship, heal what's triggering you, and change the channel in your mind, and you will be much happier as a result. Friend, this is your mind. It was yours to begin with, and if you gave it away, you can take it back. Trust me, my friend, that person likely isn't spending much time thinking about you. Are you wondering just how toxic your thoughts are? Well, I have a link in the description section below for a quiz. It's called, How Toxic Are My Thoughts? Go ahead and jump down there. Take that fun quiz today. And if you are ready to replace overreactions with calm, controlled responses, if you are ready to learn how to control that chaos in your mind, I want to invite you to join us for our online course called Renew. Renew is going to help you control your mind and transform your life with its proven four-step method to help you gain control of your thoughts and emotions before they control you and win that battle in your mind. So go ahead, down in the description section below, I've included a link and for a limited time, we are offering a gift, a gift of $50 off. Simply use the coupon code MYGIFT. This course is typically $97, but for a limited time with the coupon code MYGIFT, you will receive $50 off the online program. My friend, it is my heart to help you lasso those out of control thoughts and live a transformed life. Well, until next time, remember, all things are possible with God. Thank you for watching Christian Life TV. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and build believers all around the world. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly partner with Chris Reese Ministries by clicking on the donate link now.